Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally tackling my studio. I've been meaning to redecorate my space for a while now and it's something I've been putting off for months because I'm so lazy. But today is the day. Today is the day that I finally clean up all of my mess and redecorate everything. As you can see, I've already decorated the area in the back, which I've had done for like the past few months. But honestly, everything else has just been kind of bare. I don't have any art on my walls. I have a ton of prints that I purchased from artists that I love that have just been sitting in the corner that I really need to frame and put up on my walls. So my gallery wall will definitely be up this week. But today I do want to tackle my storage cart that I recently bought. I already have another storage cart, which I use for packaging but I thought that I could use another one so that I could put all of my products into it like my enamel pins and my stickers which would make the packaging process a little easier so I can move everything around instead of just putting them on my bookshelf and then that would leave me more room to decorate my bookshelf and just put actual books on them and decorative pieces so yeah let's get started heading to Michael's right now. I'm gonna pick up some stuff for my office. Right now I have this mint color for like my packaging stuff, but I think I'm gonna get another fun color. You like that one? That one's cool. I like the yellow one, but I don't even see it here. I do like this color as well though. This one, I think this looks really good with this color. I think I'm gonna get this one. Yay! Ended up getting the coral color. I think it's gonna look really good with the mint. Not done. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about this cart that I just built? Good job. I did it. I did it. Oh, 
I just finished assembling my storage cart and honestly it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I finished it in like 15-20 minutes and now I guess I'm just gonna unbox some of these storage cases that I bought off of Amazon recently. It is the very next day and right now I'm about to organize all of my products into the storage cart that I built yesterday. So that includes all of my pins, my prints, and my stickers. I bought storage cases on Amazon recently and hopefully I bought enough to separate everything um, but I think I should be fine. This is where my enamel pins used to live on my bookshelf and as you can see it freed up so much space and now I have creative freedom to add whatever I want to it. First layer I just have all of my enamel pins divided into different little boxes and in this corner I just decided to put my backing cards just so it's easily accessible on these larger boxes I have all of my animal crossing pins and what I love about these boxes is that it's easily stackable and I could just put them away or pull them out when I need them my second layer is mostly my stickers for my patreon and also these larger boxes just have some leftover pins that I wasn't able to fit on top and then in this little guy, I just have some of my Boba Guys pins that I designed a few months ago. And then for the very bottom layer, I just have some leftover notebooks from my previous collection. In this box, I just have all of my extra Patreon prints. On here, I have some Patreon membership cards and some extra backing cards for my pins. In this corner, I just have some extra pin backings as well. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to have a little black IKEA table on the side, but I always felt like it never really matched my space because it was very dark. So I took that out and I'm probably going to put one of the storage cards into that corner. Hello, 
so it's been about a week since I last worked on my studio redesign. I know, very long overdue and it's been a pretty slow process but I am taking it one day at a time because I just don't want to overload myself and do everything in one day. But yeah, today I'm doing something very fun and long overdue. I am working on my gallery wall and like I mentioned earlier, it's something that I've been wanting to do for so long and I feel like once I have all these prints on my wall, I'll just feel so much more inspired to create, to design and just to work so yeah I have so many prints from various artists that I've accumulated over the past year that I really love so I'm very excited to put those up I also have a lot of frames that are mainly white so I did buy some pink and some purple paint so I'm probably going to paint those before I put the prints in but yeah I'm gonna put all of the prints on the side of the wall I know that you mainly see this side when I film and this is the desk that I mainly work on packaging but I also have another desk over here on my right where I usually just work on my laptop and the wall is just so empty and boring let me show you what it looks like before I get started but yeah I'm very excited. This is the wall that I will be working on today and as you can see it is very very bare. I just have one print up and it's the first print that I put up when I moved in like a year ago and it's by Lauren Tsai, one of my favorite artists. But yeah I have so many other prints that I need to put up here so let's start painting. Okay, quick update. I just finished painting some of the frames and I'm not gonna lie, some of them are looking kind of clumpy, but it's okay. I think they look fine, at least from afar. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just waiting for them to dry right now. I think I'm gonna give it another 30 minutes and then I'm gonna start putting the prints into them. So these are the frames that I painted and for some reason it took me way longer than I probably should have, but yeah. I did two purple ones and one pink one. I just narrowed down all of my prints and these are the few that I decided to go with and put on my wall and I think they look really cute together. Thank you. 
everything is now framed and now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to organize everything so it looks good together. is the arrangement that I came up with and I can't find my measuring tape right now so I'm just gonna assume everything's gonna fit so fingers crossed everything works out I realized that I don't have enough command strips, which is kind of annoying, so I wasn't able to finish my gallery wall just yet. I only put up three of the prints, so I need to go to the store to pick up some more command strips, then I can continue my wall. Going to Target to get more command strips. Command strips. Okay. I think... Which ones did I get last time? with it i honestly didn't think i would be able to finish it tonight but i did and i'm very glad i just love seeing all of my favorite pieces together in i'm so happy with how it turned out i love all of these pieces individually and all together they just look amazing but yeah i'll probably show you a better look of it in the morning because my ring light's casting this super big glare across the frame so you can't really see the art pieces that well, but very happy. Before I call it a night, I'm actually gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna switch out my light switch covers because I recently got this one off of Etsy and it's a 3D printed flower light switch cover. It's from an artist that I discovered on TikTok and she makes some really cool stuff. It was really difficult to just choose one design but I chose this flower one and it's so cute so let's put it on. Hello, so it's been a couple of weeks since I last worked on redecorating my studio again and I know it's been such an incredibly long process but I am back today to finish everything off. I think the last clip that you saw was me switching out my light switch cover and also putting together the gallery wall behind me and as you can see the desk over here is empty and definitely in need of some decor so I'll be decorating that and also putting some of my electronics on there like my laptop, my keyboard and everything since this is the desk that I'll be primarily working on. Another thing that I really want to do today as well is to decorate my bookshelf. I already emptied out everything the other day and all of my books are just kind of laid out on the carpet. It kind of made like this whole barrier to my studio so we'll definitely be working on that situation today. 
I also want to point out that my hair might look a little different because I spontaneously wanted to chop off all of my hair one morning and I'm also in the process of fading out the black on this side because I just realized how difficult it was to maintain so yeah right now it faded into this purple there's some like teal on this side kind of kind of random but eventually it will fade back to a pastel color so yeah that's the situation on my hair <laughs> organize all of my books by color so it goes from purple to pink to reds oranges to yellows and so forth and i just think it's gonna look really pretty on my shelf i'm thinking i'm gonna put it on the very top of the shelf like years ago i think back in 2017 so this was five years ago but i have a little feature in cosmopolitan philippines which is crazy to always think about i'm on the very last page definitely one of the highlights of 2017 for me and i always love looking back on this it's pretty cool Here's another cool magazine. Back when I used to work for Penguin Random House, I had the opportunity to design an advertisement for the back of the New Yorker. So when you flip it around, I designed this Dungeons of Dragons advertisement. Super last minute, it took me one whole day, very stressful, but the outcome was really cool. And now I have this really cool memory. <laughs> I just have a ton of Family Circle magazines because I used to intern for magazines in New York when I came straight out of college and one of the first internships that I got was for Family Circle. Oh my god, hopefully this does not fall. It's like super heavy in comparison to the books. Okay, my back hurts. I'm gonna take a break. I'm nearly finished with decorating my bookshelf and i'm just taking a quick break right now because not gonna lie my back was starting to ache throughout the process the joys of getting old uh, but yeah i am gonna unbox something really quick as well i got this cash-all dish from depop recently and i just thought it would be really really cute on my bookshelf Packaged very safely, thankfully. I was kind of worried that it was going to break during transit. Okay. okay, so this is one half of what I got. It's a freaking ice cream cone. 
Look how cute this is. And then it comes with like a little platter. Wait, that's totally misleading. It didn't even come with the platter. It just came with the ice cream cone. Oh, turns out that I can't read. I thought it came as a whole set because of the way that it was decorated in the photograph on Depop, but I guess I just bought like a little ice cream cone, which is fine. I think it will still look really cute on my shelf. Why does this feel like it's about to fall? last bit of mess that I have in my studio and it's basically just a mix of inventory so there's some enamel pens some papers to sort through accessories I already put my apparel into these storage boxes over here but once I clean this up I do have one more thing that I want to do and then we're all done finally done redecorating my studio it took a few days but i'm very 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 happy with the outcome honestly just sitting here right now i feel so much more inspired by everything around me because it's just more colorful and organized than it used to be so i'm very very excited to start creating some amazing things in the space i hope you enjoyed watching the whole process from organizing to decorating and everything in between i'll probably add some finishing touches here and there but for the most part, it is finished. So here is a tour of my finished studio.
So you made it to the end of this video, congrats, because it was a very long one. But if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up as well. If you liked it, it helps so, so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hated.